Yes, and welcome back to Train Simulator 2018. And this is a tutorial series where me, the noob train driver, tries to learn how to drive trains, funnily enough. Now, if you haven't checked out parts 1 through 7, then make sure you go check those out before you check out this episode. That's a lot of checking out, by the way. This is episode 8, and so let's jump into the academy. We've actually only got one section left until we have all our stars. Look at that, we have raced through them. It's been very interesting in fact I'm still not an expert by any stretch of the imagination and I still don't know if they're going to let me loose out there but uh, signaling is what we're going to concentrate on today and we will jump into the DMU two aspect signal so let's go and check out what that's all about okay welcome back to the cab of the class 170 diesel in this lesson we'll learn about home and distance signals complete any okay we know that all right when multiple trains operate on a railway, railway line, they must be separated to prevent collision. Wow, that's stated in the obvious. The line is divided into sections called blocks, and only one train is permitted into each, each block. Entry into each block is controlled by a signal, which indicates to the driver if it's okay to proceed. These are called home signals. Okay, nice. I get that. Green light, go, 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 go. All right, this guy's decided to take off. So he took off, and then because he's in the block, it's turned red. Look at that, expert knowledge right there. I have no idea what I'm talking about, let's be honest. With an increase in speed and the winding nature of railways, it's not always possible to see the home signal far enough ahead in order to stop if required. The driver, therefore, needs a warning. Okay. Ah. Warning signals. A second type of signal exists that warns of an approaching signal. This is called a distance signal and is seen on the approach to any home type. The distance signal duplicates the state of the home signal, allowing the driver to time to slow down and stop if required to. So how do you know which one's which? The signal is now green so your train is clear to depart. This concludes the explanation of two aspect signals. Scenario complete. All right, so that makes sense. Like, so there's a warning signal, but it, and it says it's the same color. So I wonder how you know that it's a warning signal. Is it just because it's the first one that comes along? I assume so. But let's get into the next one: the electric warning and stop signals. There's our little electric train. He's got his thingy majig. That's the technical term. Put up onto the wire. So he's getting some electricity, and we're going to learn about some of these signals. Looks like a normal traffic light, actually. We'll learn about warning and stop signals. Okay. Blocks. We're multiple trains. Okay, we know about this. Okay, stop signals. Okay, we know about that. That guy's off. See you later. Turns into a red because he's on it, so I can't go in there. That makes sense. Okay, so this is exactly the same as the previous one. Warning signals, a second type of signal exists that announces the approaching signal. This is called a warning signal and is seen on an approach to any stop site. Same again. The warning signal duplicates the state of the stop signal. Okay, so I wonder if it's yellow or um, I wonder if it's yellow if it's red, the next one's red, and then it's green if, if it's just green. Maybe that's the way it goes, perhaps. We'll figure it out. Scenario complete. Okay, so the end answer is electric's exactly the same as diesel's. Good to know. Chat to me. What am I doing? I'm sitting there waiting for things to happen. I need to make it happen. Okay, Sting, let's check that out. If this is exactly the same, I'll jump straight to the end of the scenario and let you know. Ooh, okay, these look a bit old school, don't they? These look a bit old school. Let's see what they've got to tell us here. Two aspect signals. Okay, I, I assume... We're not, okay, so it's saying the same stuff. It just looks different. Okay. Let's skip to the end. Okay, we're at the end of the scenario, and what I have noticed is it appears that the warning light is definitely a yellow if the next light is red. It looks like that's the case, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure, though, but not 100% sure. That fills you with confidence, doesn't it? Okay, moving right along. What's it telling us now? The next one uh, is signal single head signals. Let's check that out. Okay, welcome back to the cab of the SD70. Single head right let's check it out we're multiple okay we know that okay is this going to be exactly the same okay oh entry into each block is controlled by a signal three colors to the engineer okay this is slightly different okay so watch 
as the train ahead pulls forward and how the signals change as a result. Okay, this is a bit of an act. So we should see, yep, so that changes to red. Okay, we sort of picked that up earlier on. This means the next block is occupied by another train. Ah, oh, right. Ah, yellow means the second block ahead is occupied. Okay, so he's going to a block saying, hey, just be aware, the next block after this is, uh, uh, that is, uh, it's uh, occupied. Okay, so that's what that means. And he's ripping along with his light on. Hopefully it's going to tell us some interesting information very soon. You never know. So he's gone into another block. And so this should be green back there then. Okay, he's yellow. As soon as he goes, it's red. Yep, there we go. We've got this thing sorted. Very, very simple. This means a third block ahead is occupied. Okay, green means it's clear. Okay. So essentially, you rip along. If it's green, you're good to go. If it's yellow, it means, hey... Not the next block, but the block after is occupied. Okay, we are all over this. I tell you what, just like a rash. Just like a rash, we're all over it. Okay, let's check out the next one. Okay, three aspect signals. Let's check that out. Okay, we've got the big red light right there. That block is occupied. We know that. We learnt it. We know what we're talking about. Nice reflections off that cab, off that, uh, cab by the way. This is a 170 diesel. Three aspect signals. Okay, I'm getting a feeling this is going to be... We have multiple train. Okay, we know this. I think this is going to tell us some same information. Okay, that's exactly the same blocks. As this rips through, it's going to go red. Here we go. The pattern of behaviour happening here, ladies and gentlemen. So the end answer on this one, guys. If I've skipped ahead to this, the end answer is that was exactly the same as the previous one. So moving right along. Okay, the next one is combined signals in the BL. I've got a feeling. This might give us similar results. Let's check it out. Okay. Oh, oh, look at this. This is a BR 189 electric combined signals. Okay, okay. I, th I saw some different light. Okay, it's the speed influence. As speed limits increase, the distance signal needs to be farther in advance. Yeah, of course. This means it can end up being in the same location as a previous stop signal. I'm with you. To be economical, the two are combined into one signal with the ability to display states. When the signal shows red, this means you must stop as the block ahead is occupied. Okay. Okay, but... Okay, we know that. Okay, stop. Yep. Right. When the signal is in this form, you are clear to proceed, but the next signal may be at danger, so be prepared to stop. Okay, that's good to know. So we're ripping along this, the, the, the tracks here in our electric train. Very uh, eco-friendly, by the way, so that's good to see. The environment is loving life right now. Okay, so this boy is ripping around the corner. And I assume we're going to head up to some lights very soon. It's not giving much away at the moment, really, is it? Any second now, I feel like, oh, here we go, action. And it's green, okay, so here's good to go. Look at these little lights around here, what are they all about? They're keeping that a bit quiet, aren't they? Okay, so he's here, gone past the last one, so he is clear to proceed. Okay, good to know. We are at the next signal. And there goes combined signals, simple as that. Okay, that was actually quite simple. On to the next one, scenario is complete. All right, Academy. Um, I've got a feeling that this one's going to explain those... I oh know, we're onto steam trains. Okay, three aspects. Look, I would say this is the three aspect signals. Um, and we've already covered three aspect signals for the, the, the diesel. So I might skip straight to the end of this and just let you know if it's exactly the same. So catch you on the other side. Okay, guys, as expected, this was exactly the same. And as you see here... You've got the double lights. The top one is what's happening right now. So if it's green, you continue right through. The second one is your distant, just telling you what's up ahead. So the only difference is it's old school technology. So, yep, exactly the same. Right, moving right along. Let's check out the next one. I'll tell you what, guys, we are close to completing these tutorials. We're on to the SD70 Mac. We've got multi-head signals, which I'm guessing is combined signals. But let's go and see. Okay, guys, here we are. I've hit, I think it might be slightly different, actually. Splitting a single track into sections to separate trains is easy. Things get complicated when there are multiple tracks and switches to change between them. Signals now need to display more information to the engineer as to what situation is ahead of them. Okay, let's have a look at this. Ahead is a switch allowing our train to cross 
to the parallel track. On the signal in the front, there are two heads, upper and lower. There we go, upper, lower. The upper head relates to the track we are on. The lower relates to the second route we could take beyond the signal. Okay, watch as the signal changes as the locomotive ahead progresses down the track. Okay, so that bottom one went to red as he progressed. Because what it's saying is, uh, there we go, yeah, because he's coming across into a lane. No, it's not called a lane, but you know what I'm saying. Into somewhere where we potentially could go. So the first one's red and probably the second one. But then he switched again. What does it all mean? He goes past here and it should go green by the time. There it goes, the bottom one's, because that's the third track. So top one's the track you're on. Oh, no, here we go, green. Yes, it is green because he's out of the road. Let's just read it, it will tell us. The lower head indicates it is clear for our locomotive to verge at the switch to the parallel track. The upper head indicates it's not safe to proceed along the current track. I see. So what it's saying is, make sure you get off the line you're on. Scenario complete, there it is. All right. Oh, here we go. Our training is almost complete and we will be a fully fledged Jedi. Four aspect signals, let's go. The final tutorial, are we all getting emotional? Let's go and see what it's all about. All right, the final scenario, four signals it is telling us, four aspect signals. It assumed that two and three aspect signaling lessons have already been completed. Yes, it has, we are progressing as per the schedule. Okay, speed and capacity. As a train increases, uh, as train speeds increase still further, signals must be spaced far enough apart for the driver to safely stop the train after passing a warning aspect. However, this distance can begin to impact the number of trains able to travel along the line in any given time frame. This is called line capacity. Four lights. In order to increase line and speed and capacity, line speed and capacity, even more advanced warning of adverse signals is required for the driver. A fourth light displaying yellow acts as an additional warning, the same as a single yellow indication. All right. Starting to get a bit complex here, isn't it? All these lights. All we know is red's bad. Don't go. Green, go. Watch the signal ahead as a train in front pulls into the distance. Okay. This means the next block is occupied by another train. Knew it, so you can't go. No, you know, you know. Okay, that means the second block is occupied. See, I called it before it came up. And here's just working his way around the academy train track, which is probably just a big circle. Or just a dead end, one of the two. And here we go. As he goes through here, he's saying red. No, sorry, it's green. Now it's red. Okay. And it went down. Okay, now it's got two yellows. Advanced warning. This means the third block ahead is occupied. Ah, because it's the short because of the short distance of the blocks, I would imagine. And then once now it's gonna rip this guy around the corner again. This looks like a bit of a repeat. Is this the same scenery? I don't think it is. So this is going to go, it's coming home, now it's to red, now it's green. This means the third block ahead is occupied. Okay, it's clear to go. And our scenario is complete, not only that, but our training is complete, is it? Is our training complete? Our training is complete, nothing in here, nope. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Our training is complete. There go signals right there. Hopefully it all made sense. It certainly made mostly sense to me. Red bad, green good, yellow, watch out. So that makes sense. I want to say a huge thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. Smash the like button down below if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, take it easy.